We're over at the National Floor Show in Harrogate. Uh, we're at the LVT Fitter of the Year competition 2021 and uh, we're joined by winner Matt Bowles. Matt, massive congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Matt, how does it feel to be UK's LVT Fitter of the Year? You know, because it's, it's a competition to find the best and, and you've won it. Um, Relief. Relief. It's been a stressful couple of days, but um, yeah, yeah, just uh, really pleased to kind of uh, win the award. Uh, the competition itself was was tough, um, but the the guys, you know, the other guys competing and everything were were all good, um, and it was a, a close call and just come down to a few little minor details, but. Yeah, pleased please to be sat on the, the winning side. Uh, can you can you just explain what you had to do? Yeah, so we were given the brief of fitting the bay out, herringbone. Half the bay was board work with a external custom corner, which was down to our choice. So it's down to us to design and, and do. Um, scribed into the other side of the skirting board, so there was no board on that side. A couple of stair rod, alley rack noses to go on and follow the herringbone down the steps. Uh, how challenging was it and why was it so difficult? Because it's just, looking at it, a lot of people think, oh it's just a bay. Yeah, just a, yeah. Just a bay. Um, the, it's as difficult as you want to make it. The To, to win it, the detail was going to have to be high. With the guys in the competition, it was going to have to be you know, pretty much perfect. The stairs took everyone a bit more time than they probably anticipated. The, the, the majority of them weren't too bad, because you can kind of get the feel down, but then all your cuts have got to be right, everything has to be perfect. Um, and then, it, you know, like I say, it just comes down to the, the finer details of things like the the, the custom corner which um, probably just, just picked up for me. And the bay is full of booby traps as well. Mm. Yeah, walls aren't, st aren't square and uh, obviously you can't use undercut saws for your architraves and everything had to be scribed in. The, the lovely hexagon in the middle had to be scribed round so yeah, it was um, a tricky one. Uh, the homework you had to do, uh, what, what was the task given? So the task was, uh, the theme was London and we were given white tiles and black tiles and that was all we were told. So um, we kind of, we spoke about it and it was it was a, one of the few ideas we were going to do um, and in the end we went with the skyline from London um, and was really quite pleased with it and then turned up and saw Matt Parkinson with Big Ben um, and he's just absolutely we smashed everyone I with think it. So. All amazing, to be honest. There's yeah, uh, some real, real intricate work gone into all yeah. of them. Yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of work involved. Uh, what were the materials like to work with? Was it currently in how to select? Uh, yes, yeah, so it was the morning oak uh, herringbone, three by nine herringbone. Very, you know, it's a luxury vinyl tile, so it's very stiff. Um, it's a three mil product. Um, so having to cut everything back and re-bevel, um, it's taking this toll on my, my hands and a little bit sore, and then obviously trying to get them in the, the alley wrap noses as well was, um, was, was difficult. So. Is it uh, like, do you work with this product at all? Do you, do yeah, yes, yeah, so can't even one of the brands that we sell. Um, so, and they're probably known more for the, the traditional three benign herringbone um, that everyone seems to, to go for at the moment. Yeah. Matt, would you encourage fitters to enter this competition? thought about it a few years ago to do the carpet one and just kind of put it put it off put it off and it was always an excuse after entering to do the semi-finals just to see where you were see how I got on against the, the rest of the guys um, it, even though it's been stressful 100% um, I'd encourage everyone to do it um, the you, you have a good bit of banter and camaraderie between the, the guys the judges made everyone feel um, relaxed um, certainly didn't feel relaxed inside, but uh, it's, it was just a great experience. And the, to top it off to win was, you know, kind of the icing on the cake. Uh, your workload, it's about speaking to other previous winners of the carpet competition. The workload considerably increased quite a bit. So, are you prepared for that? No. <laughs> um, the, the diary's pretty full as it is, but um, yeah, we, you know, we'll, we'll try and get get round to to who we can. It's just. It's, the struggle at the moment is finding time to get out and measure and then uh, get everything priced up and get things back and get people even this weekend contacting you and you kind of have to give the phone to, to Julie the wife to say can you just put it on silent and tell them on the way so um, yeah kind of I'm not really looking forward to the, the increase in work. Finally Matt what do you think your wife's going to spend the prize money on? It's already been spent <laughs> yeah it's already been spent I think uh, 
I think I think that's gone towards the log burner. So um, at least we get some use out of it. So, uh, but no, it's it's been brilliant. So I've really enjoyed Absolutely it. fantastic. Well done and congratulations. Thank you, Brian. Cheers. Cheers.